You who clicked on this video were always destined to have abundance. All you got to do is tune into it. Switch the channels, lovely soul. Which channel are you tuning into? Before I jump into this lovely video today, I want to say welcome to each and every one of you. Hey, how you doing? Who just clicked on this video? If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. And if you are existing person who keeps coming back, welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much for always tuning in and being here. I read all your lovely comments. and I'm so grateful for this community. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you lovely souls, right? Real talk. Thank you for being you and thank you for all of what you do here. It matters. Even if it feels like it goes unnoticed, it is noticed, baby. Real talk. I appreciate you all always for opening up and sharing your stories and your experiences and giving your amazing knowledge and wisdom down below in the comment section. So it definitely helps when new people come across side channel and they have any questions and if I'm not there you guys are always there so thank you for always being there as well I appreciate you all I want to go ahead and jump up into this video but I want to say because it's coming through right now and I don't feel like I said it lately but be mindful of your energy don't let your gas run on you so abundance is your birthright lovely soul and you probably heard this time and time before being rich is your birthright realize I create happiness right? And some of you are wondering if this is my birthright, then why did I experience poverty? Why did I experience scarcity in my life? And why am I struggling? If you are struggling, because I'm seeing money scarce in your life. There are reasons that everything happens in our lives, whether we understand them or know them or not. Everything is happening in divine timing, life is responding to you and everything is happening for a reason. What channel are you tuning into? The angel number that is connected to this message and the way I want to direct it is angel number 77 and angel number 1919. So what I want you to do, I encourage you is to Google the number, but before you Google these numbers, see how you feel. So when you think of angel number 77, see, sit, breathe in and out and see how you feel about this. Like, what could this message be? And it could even be also because it's connected to this video. So it can even be about some things that I'm ex um, explaining here today will actually uh, make more sense to you. So feel how you feel about the number before you Google them. This is a new thing that's coming across my channel with my videos to certain angel numbers that are appearing. I'm sending them to you. And this is the way I, I encourage you to do it. See how you feel before you Google it. So angel number 77 and angel number 1919 have a message for you. So ask yourself, are you nurturing a scarcity mindset? When you become obsessed with a lack of something or something like being without or having less of or feeling like, you don't have more enough and that you're going to run out. This is what it means to have a scarcity mindset. And we easily become obsessed with this. And I want to tell you why, as I continue to explain, and it feels impossible when you have this certain mindset to focus on anything else, like no matter how hard you try. When I, had a scarcity mindset, it wasn't the easiest thing to be because I was so used to focusing on my problems and on the lack of things that I didn't have in my life and focusing on being without and focusing on running out that I would hold my money real tight to me. And that's not a good thing because we should be given in order to receive, right? Everything is energy. And if you are feeling like you're afraid to invest, you're afraid to do something that you're intuitively guided to do, and you're afraid that you're going to run out of money in your savings and in your bank account, and you focus on that, you can easily create exactly that. And that is as simple as that, right? So that can actually give many people confirmation over where they are and some experiences they've experienced or things that they may be experiencing right here, right now in this moment. And when the same happens, when you focus on worrying, the thing that you focus on that got you feeling worried, like the light bill, the gas bill, 
right? When you focus on worrying about those things, then see how you're worried. Are you worried that you won't have the money? Are, are, you, are you feeling like you're going to be without? Like you're not going to be able to pay that bill and you steady focus on, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to pay that bill. Oh my gosh. Then that's a scarcity mindset and you may end up in the shoes where you're not able to pay that bill. So I know that it seems very challenging to focus on abundance in these times, but it is so possible and it is key. Earth school is all about manipulating the energy, right? So when you, you, it's best to focus on knowing that it will be okay. It will, it will work out. And you can always ask for help to God, to your angels. Like, employ your angels. Give them permission to work for you and ask them. Like, employ them. Like, give them a job. Like, hey, release stuff to them. Set your attention, connect to release stuff to them. Ask them to guide you. Ask them whatever you want. Ask God whatever you want. You don't have to do this by yourself. If you are struggling with your light bill, for instance, just ask God, show me an opportunity. Show me the way on how to pay this light bill that's coming up. And don't wait till the last minute to do it. Do this in advance. And God will show you an opportunity, an idea. Something will appear on your path. Now, it's up to you to see it, notice it, be aware of it, and act on it. And that opportunity and that idea will pay your bill. Straight up like that. You see how it rhymes? That's how it be. That's how it feel. <laughs> but that's how it is, though, on the cool. So, or somebody might give you the money. That's exactly for that bill. Like, when you have real faith and you really trust, this is what happens. And this is who you truly are. You see, but nobody taught us this, though. You see, and the way you perceive life is how you saw it growing up. So some of you may have saw your mothers or fathers or grandmothers or grandfathers, whomever raised you, you may have saw them worry all the time. I did. I saw my mother worry all the time. And I thought that if you don't worry or if you don't focus on what you don't have, then you don't care. And, and that um, you're not going to be able to figure it out, right? But honestly, all it was doing was draining me, tiring me, destroying me because I couldn't do anything else but focus on this scarcity. So now you can see why I'm saying like this is something we become obsessed with, right? And no one chooses a scarcity mindset. You don't choose to become obsessed with this. This is all you ever knew. This is all you've ever done. It's the same with trauma. We, our body becomes obsessed with trauma, with pain, right? We become obsessed with it because that's all we've ever known and experienced. And we got to change, teach our body how to change, right? The energy of it. So it all starts with your mind. So no one chooses a scarcity mindset on purpose. Nobody. So do not be hard on yourself. I'm feeling, do not feel shameful. Do not feel guilty. Do not blame yourself. Do not look down on yourself. Because you're not the only one who's ever experienced this. Matter of fact, probably 99% of people have experienced this on this planet and still are right now. But what I don't think people understand is that your brain is like a muscle. So your mind, it's like, it's like a muscle, like going to the gym, getting those reps in. You got to give those reps. You got to put it in. You got to put in that work consistently, persistently. You got to keep installing in these new beliefs, reprogramming your mind with new mantras, new affirmations, right? Usually the, to flip the things that you are focusing on and thinking of, tell yourself a better lie is what's coming through. Tell, Cause that's what it feels like at first when you're in issues. In fact, you lying to yourself, but trust me, it works. I've done it. And you focus on that. So whatever lack scarcity without that you focus on, write it down and write something positive next to it. Create a mantra next to it. So the next time that it occurs, you don't want to fight your mind. That's the problem that many people uh, may run across like I did. Never fight your mind. It's like multiplication. It was a last say addition. It will grow bigger as you fight it. You never want to fight your mind. You know, you just want to reprogram it and 
observe and be aware of what's going on in your mind so that your thoughts are not controlling you every given moment, right? So that's something else that you got to become aware of, lovely souls. I encourage you, do not fight your mind. It is a bit to work with your mind. But over time, it all starts to fall in place. Over time, you become what you speak. You, you, everything starts to change. All you got to do is show up and do the work. And you got to stay consistent because if not, it's going to fall back into the old program, fall back into the old scarcity, lack, negative thoughts. It's going to fall back into that because that's what's familiar. That's why you got to stay consistent with this and be patient because as I mentioned, your mind is like a muscle. It takes time. Be patient and don't fight it. It, it gets chaotic when you fight it. So no one chooses a scarcity mindset on purpose. So think of it as a background noise, right, in your brain, and it's just there. Because your brain, your mind is always telling the story. And that's why we must become uh, aware of this and observe those thoughts, observe those stories with no connection to it. Because what happens is, like, where you put your focus and your attention is what's going to grow and it's going to create your reality. So you, a lot of you I'm feeling right now, <laughs> I've seen 100% are starting to see a reality that you've created in your life that is connected to scarcity and poverty and how things have appeared in your life just as you thought they would, right? And you focused in on it. I feel like someone's like, because you were focusing on those things and, it, and, and it, it actually manifests into your life. So that may have scared you to actually... Uh, that may have just scared you. I'm feeling like fear. That may have just scared you, period. And, and put you in a place of where you've crippled in fear because you're not aware that you're the one who's creating that lovely soul from focusing on it. I also feel like somebody's like, well, I try to do the positive affirmations, but um, it didn't work. And scarcity... And lack still kept manifesting into my life because your thoughts are still there. You're still uh, focusing on that. You have to just give it time and stay patient and keep doing it. And uh, it will change. It will change. Just don't focus there because when you focus, that's what energy, your energy flows. So this tires you out. And also when you focus in a place, that's what grows and creates your reality. I think I've already said that, but it came across again. So that must be said, need to be said again. And that makes so much sense. So... That's what's going on. A lot of people are not aware that there's this background noise going on in their brain at all times. And you must be aware of it. I encourage you. Prob the problem with scarcity thinking is uh, it's bad for our health. Not a doctor. You feel me? Disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> and always thinking about what you don't have. It takes a toll on us. And it, it tires us out and drains us. And this is where a lot of people have created anxiety and other things as well. But it can affect our ability to solve problems and make decisions for ourselves, make plans, right? It, it, it makes us, like, not want to do nothing. I, I don't know. I heard something that said, like, because you, you tell yourself, like, I don't have the money. Uh, I don't have the money for that. I don't have the money to invest. I want that, but I don't have the money for that. Like, these types of things someone is saying, and, and that's why you don't have the money for it, because of what you're saying, lovely soul. Abundance is your birthright. Now, you can see how switching the channels from tuning into scarcity to abundance can definitely change up your whole game and definitely change up your life. I'm an example and there's many souls out there who's actually done it, who actually done this and you can do it too. And many of you are doing it right now and keep doing it because I'm so proud of you because this is a challenge, right? But over time, it seems like it gets easier because you become more powerful, right? And I'm proud of you for doing this because you're really ahead of a lot of people who are not even aware of this just yet. Some people may be finding out right now today on my video and that's why they were led here. And I'm so grateful that you're here because this needs to be known. Spread this, share this. People need to know that there's a background noise going on in their mind that they are responding to, right? It's just a quick thing I want to say. It's like, if you look at the world today, we ain't here to just kill each other and stuff like that. What's really going on? What's really going on, lovely souls? Think about it. You were born to live an abundant life in, in every way from your health to your wealth to your happiness. So now is a great time to co-create the abundance you were always destined to have. Abundance is your birthright. 
Abundance is not something that we acquire. It's something that we tune into like a radio station, right? Everything, everything is energy. So it's like tuned into a radio station. If you tune into that new hip hop rap, that saying killing and stealing and robbing and, and all that crazy stuff, then that may be your reality. As some of them that are speaking it, that's why a lot of people are being taken, like they're leaving, the, they're crossing over because of what they're speaking into their reality. And this is the reality that they're trying to create for you, lovely souls. So this is why, you know, music is so powerful. It creates your reality. So anyways, you're tuned into it like a radio station. So you want to, just like you've tuned into that scarcity, you want to tune into that abundance. You want to make that familiar. You want to focus there no matter what is going on in your reality. You don't have to identify with that reality. You don't have to say like, this is my life. This is it. I'm selling. This is just temporary. This ain't your life. This is the life you've created before you knew this information you're receiving today. So now you can tune into the abundance and make it familiar to you. So it's, it's all about tuning into the frequency. So it's just abundance is just something that we tune into. And to get abundance, all you have to do is tune into the abundance frequency. Just straight up like that. Tune into it. And once you tune into your abundance channel and you keep doing this and you embrace divine frequencies, you will be able to fully fully tap into the power of the universe. This is real talk and your life will change for you at a lightning speed. Things will start to move very quick. <laughs> Are you ready? Tune into the abundance frequency. It's time to change the channel. So I hope this video was very helpful to you lovely souls. Abundance is your birthright. Now you can see as I've expressed it the best I could to give you a picture to paint in your mind to see where you may stand and what you may have been doing and now where you can begin to work on and a tool to utilize to change your, to reprogram your mind. It works. It's just like simple things that truly works. I want you to write down below in the comment section, um, I love the simple things in life. And I love simplicity that will help you start to make things and do things like to be in love with all the small things in life. is so big, so big and definitely, uh, amplifies gratitude and also, um, feeling, uh, what I mentioned, like it, like brain fog just came also saying, Oh, I am in love with simplicity will help you stop making things hard for yourself and complex. Uh, cause the ego likes to do complex stuff. Right. And, um, It'll start helping you to do things more simple. Okay. Take it one day at a time and stay consistent and to stay persistent. I love each and every one of you. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if this message resonates with you, hit that like button so we can get out to more lovely souls like yourself. Thank you for being here. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. Share this video, share this word, share this message for many souls that can become aware of many things that I just spoke on in this video today because this is how they keep us poor. Okay. <laughs> and a little bit more, but this is the key. You deserve abundance. It's your birthright. Real talk. Okay. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing to the channel, baby, by hitting that subscribe button and that bell and join the pure clarity mindset family. Cause on this channel, we get our mind right. Bulletproof mindset, baby. Real talk, real talk. We live in it over here. Much love to each and every one of you out there. Keep doing your best. Don't worry about the rest, baby. Focus on what you actually want to create. Focus on what you actually want and how you want to feel. When you tune into the abundance frequency, dang, it started to feel good. Everything started to feel better. And you keep tuning into it, things are going to start moving at a lightning speed for you. So be patient. Peace, love, and light to you. Come back to see me.